Hello, everyone. So if you have a Galaxy S10, you may have learned that it's the battery life is not as great as you expected. Now, there have been many reasons that people have been saying that the battery is not good. But th there is one particular issue that I think a lot of people have noticed, and that is that the phone, the Galaxy S10 Plus, fails to deep sleep. Deep sleep is basically the state your phone enters when there are no background tasks. So basically, when deep sleep is a state in which the CPU is completely off when the screen is off, and this is this state that the phone should aim for whenever it's not being used. As much as possible, the CPU should be off when the screen is off so that you lose as little of your battery percentage as possible. So typically, phones will actually enter deep sleep about 80 to 90% of the time that the screen is off. A good figure would actually be above 90%. But there are some users that have noticed that the S10 Plus enters deep sleep exactly 0% of the time. That's not to say that the phone's battery is bad. It's just, you know, not good. The phone is draining about 2% an hour with the CPU in its lowest possible frequency configuration, which is 400 megahertz, uh, 442, I believe. So the phone is constantly running a CPU at 442 megahertz, and the result is that the battery is draining quicker than it should. It's still getting pretty decent battery life, but imagine the results if your phone could actually deep sleep 100% of the time. Most people have noticed this issue going on with the Exynos variant, but there are some that have reported it going on the Snapdragon variant as well. And today, I'm going to show you what the cause behind this issue is and why it's draining. So credit for this solution actually goes to the guys over at XDA. XDA has basically noticed. Um, the issue was first noticed. So the issue was first noticed by senior member Jialan G. I'm sorry if I botched it, uh, the pronunciation. The wake lock happens again when you make or receive a call from Viber Facebook for one minute or longer. And um, member Govinda R98 note um, question if it was a possible proximity sensor bug. A few more users, so that was two days ago, and then a few more users um, participated over the next few days. Um, Remember, Isocall XDA can confirm that the WhatsApp call seems to be the culprit at this point. Deep sleep stops after getting off a WhatsApp call and only comes back after a reboot. Um, and then Jialin G, a member of Fourth Tune, Trino 89, Sam 20E. They all popped in with their own data over the next few days. And it does suggest, yes, this is the issue. So. It just appears to be a problem with the S10's new proximity sensor and that Samsung is not programming it to shut off correctly after you receive a call over Wi-Fi, a VoIP service such as WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Snapchat, Viber, Skype, Telegram, whatever. All of these apps, after you receive a call on them, it will not work properly. To my knowledge, this issue does not occur after you've received a normal phone call. And to my knowledge, it does affect calls of all length, con contrary to what um, one of the members earlier said about a minute, a call longer than one minute. So in order to ensure that your S10 battery remains great, my suggestion is that until a software update is issued and this issue is confirmed fixed, which I will update you about in the comments, I suggest that after receiving a call over a VoIP service, the ones that we listed earlier, you restart your Galaxy S10. This will ensure that the phone enters a state of deep sleep so that your standby performance remains excellent. Also, I would strongly recommend that you download the Samsung Members app from the Play Store or the Galaxy Store. Enter the Samsung Members app and then, pre and then press this plus button over here send feedback, click error reports, 
you can click either one if you want and then click power battery and charging and file an error report with Samsung describing the issue as I've described it to you maybe a little bit simpler than that just basically state that the X that we've discovered the proximity sensor causes the phone to fail to enter deep sleep doing this will ensure that Samsung sees our sees our comments and they do issue a fix hopefully with the March security patch. The S10 currently runs the February security patch. I guess this is one of the dangers of adopting new technology. The S10 and the S10 Plus are all are all new and a proximity sensor especially is something that I don't think Samsung has ever used. Until then, however, either don't accept calls, be completely antisocial, or simply do a restart after you receive the call. It's a little bit of trouble, but I guarantee your battery will be significantly better as a result. Until then, I will again update you when a software update is issued and it fixes the problem, but until then, just do the restart. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.